Ninaangalia nina hapa. Unajua sichaongea mambo ya ndoa kwa hii kanisa. Mungu anajaribu kutoa watu kwa trapo lakini Can I read for you a verse? First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 28. Nianza na verse 27 ama 26. Because of the present crisis, I think that it is good for you to remain as you are. Because of the present crisis. Ni vizuri kupaki vile uko. Verse 27. Are you married? Do not seek a divorce. Are you unmarried? Do not look for a wife. Verse 29. Verse 28. But if you do marry, you have not sinned. Hakuna makosa kuoa. Lakini ujue hapa tunahando crisis. Kuna watu wanaingia kwa marriage, pila kuwerewa kama wamengia kwa crisis. Ni kwa sababu atuome Bible. Hata mungu wanasema, ninapo kuambia uwaje kuoa, ninakuokoa from trapo. Let's continue reading. But if you do marry, you have not sinned. And if a virgin marries, she has not sinned. But those who marry will face many troubles in this life. And I want to spare you from this. Pastor, my husband comes too late. He must come late. <laughs> Pastor, my husband, he must look. Everybody look, look. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> If you have entered into marriage, talk them out. If you have not entered, don't rush. Think. Think. You see, Pastor, I'm suffering spirit of rejection. Mm -hmm. My age men have all married. God is helping you. Your brain is small. Marriage is for people whose brains are is big. wants to save you from crisis he tells you how to avert it what to have a device method wanambia watu marriage is not a bed of roses tell them the truth tell them the truth tell them what God says that they can be able to make their choices God is simply saying while marriage is necessary for procreation, it is not mandatory. It is not for everyone. Some people have a calling into marriage. A calling into marriage. 